hello dear students here is our revision before the exam hope you all success inshallah let's start by the first exercise which is choose the correct answer from a b c or d let's give you a tip just to how to answer the choose question we're saying that it's better to guess answers and exclude wrong ones before you start to answer the right one or to choose the right one okay let's go to number one when there is a fire space a blanket around injured people when there is a fire space a blanket around injured people is a trap or move or tie or evacuate if we take one by one uh, we have uh, let's start from down evacuate a blanket I don't think so okay tie a blanket but we have around so it's not suitable move blanket around it's not suitable too so the only one which is suitable is wrap let's go to number two the town is cut off from space with the outside world okay the town is cut off from disconnected from contact contract connect or communicate which one is the suitable one we have contact and contract and connect communicate and after from it's better to put or we have to put a uh, noun or gerund and as you can see in the uh, in the options in the options we don't have any gerund so this way we have to take the noun what are the nouns here or can we find uh, can we find any noun here actually we have to contact and contract which one is the most suitable one yes it's contact let's go to number three I can't stop sneezing because I have an space to your pets a and an must be followed by a noun and sometimes we can see that between a and an and its noun we can put in the middle adjective but as you can see what we need here is to put a noun let's see what are the nouns that we have or which one is suitable here in in these options we have allergy allergic allay allergen allergens and uh, we have actually two nouns allergy and allergens which one is the most suitable one we know that allergy is the disease itself but allergens are uh, the the substances which cause allergy so it would be allergy scientists are the space of a lot of things that help people live better scientists are the space of a lot of things that help people live better inventors invented inventions or invent after that it's like a and n so we must put noun which nouns can we choose or which noun can we choose here we have two nouns actually in these options we have inventors inventions and if we're speaking about scientists this way we're speaking about people and people takes inventors okay let's go to number seven gps helps you to space your journey from one place to another gps helps you to space your journey from one place to another okay of course everybody knows the, nav uh, the navigator gps okay so actually the suitable one is navigate not investigate not magistrate not state it's navigate okay number eight he was asked to quit as he wasn't familiar the team member he was asked to quit 
as he wasn't familiar. The team member familiar takes in at of with which one is suitable here. It's with. Thank you. If you practice a sport, you space better at it. <clears throat> if you practice a sport, you space better at it. This is if conditional. Which conditional is it? It's uh, the first condition because we have if plus present symbol. So the next part has to be will plus infinitive. So it will and the answer here will be will get. Number 10. If she read the, or yes, it's read. If she read the news, she is shocked to read about the terrible accident. Why did we say it's read not read? Because as we took before, million of times before, that in the present sample with the subject, with the singular subject, she or he or it, we must put S for the verb. Is there any S here? No, I don't think so. There is no S. It will be read. But if you add S, this will means that it is present simple and this is something else. But as you can see, it's if she read. And which conditional is it? It's the second conditional because we have if plus post simple. So the next part of uh, the sentence is, or the next sentence will be, is or will be or would be or where will be would plus infinitive which is would be okay let's go to number 11 unfortunately the writer's first three novels were not a and uh, what do we say about a or a followed by a noun okay so this way let's see which one is the suitable option we have successful success succession and succeed okay so it will be three novels were not a success but if we omit a if we omit a we're going to say the writers first three novels were not without a to be successful okay so but this one the answer will be success because we have a Okay, let's go to number 12. Mr. and Mrs. Osman employed a space to teach their children at home. Do you remember Jenea? And uh, we took a part of its, uh, her story. She actually went to uh, work uh, in a house as a teacher. It's not like a teacher, but uh, we call it a... Is it a governor? governess housekeeper headmistress i think it's a governess thank you 13 we space that caring for children is an important job we space that caring for children is an important job so is it reply is it improve is it appreciate is it check okay so it will be <coughs> we appreciate that caring yes so the suitable answer will be appreciate number 14 i'm very happy with so many friends that i have space recently <coughs> There is uh, an expression or collocation here, verb with friends, which means to gain friends or uh, like having friends. So which one is the suitable one? Is it done or lost or made or missed? So it will be made because we always say we make friends. Okay. We know uh, number 15 is we space a solution to the problem used on sorry until we had discussed it we space a solution to the problem 
until we had discussed it. Haven't reached, hadn't reached, don't reach, and didn't reach. Okay, which one is the suitable one? Let's see, we have until. Until is followed by past perfect, had plus pp. And before it, we have to put, yes, the verb in the past symbol, but there is another condition for the verb. It has to be in the negative form. So this way, the answer will be didn't reach. Number 16, fill in the gaps with one word. First, before you answer this uh, uh, text or this paragraph, you have to read it all, okay? <clears throat> like, uh, as we have here, when I was young, there were several things I didn't realize. It's space only when I was 12. Space, I knew there were no people inside a TV set. And that space was a moving picture space that I used to ask myself how these people had entered into the television okay one by one first as you can see all the text is using past simple tense so this way we have to stick to the past let's go on when I was young there were several things I didn't realize it space only when I was 12 so it uh -huh, it started only when I was 12 space I knew there were no people inside a TV set it will be that I knew okay and that space was a moving picture and that space was a moving picture so we have to put here that it was a moving picture I space to ask myself how these people had entered into the television and as we said we stick to the past and we have two here so this is a past habit so I used to ask myself Fill in the gaps tips. We have some tips here which we um, want to say just to um, uh, uh, start to answer slowly and keep in our minds. When we have to choose a linking word we must keep in mind whether the space is followed by a full sentence or no. If it is followed by gerund or noun or even infinitive, like these examples, we have We educate our children's peace, the purpose of fitting them for practical life. We have the word purpose, the purpose. So it will be for the purpose. Okay, number two. We educate our children's pace, fit them for practical life. So, we have here verb in the infinitive, so it would be to or in order to. We educate our children's pace, they can be fit for practical life. So, as you can see, the next part is a full sentence with a model verb which is can. This way, we are going to put so that we educate our children's peace students able to practice life so we must put verb because as you can see the second part doesn't include any verb to make to make students able to practice the uh, the last one we educate our children's peace students practice life well Okay, so this way to make is not suitable, but we choose to help. Okay, if conditionals. I think this exercise we uh, said it before, if Sarah read the story, and as we said, if there is no S in the verb, for the singular 
noun so this means uh, in, re in read and in hit and in cut put all of these verbs that uh, keep the same as they are in the past and the present this way we have to look carefully for the ending and if it ends with s or without s and look at the subject agreement look at the subject and see if uh, there is no s and there is a singular subject like sara she uh, he it and so on this way this uh, verb is in the past okay so the next part will be would be entertained if Sara read the story, it, it, this way we have the it refer to the story and uh, this way we're going to put would entertain. Another one, if Sara reads the story, she entertained, so it will be she will be, because this is present, okay translate into English scientist scientific research is important for the development of our country so the state should adopt Egyptian researchers the state should spend more money on research and development okay we have here verb to be is this way uh, when we translate it we'll ودايما بنقول ان ال uh, when we translate from English to Arabic we must start by a verb start by the verb الفعل نبتدي بالفعل يعد البحث العلمي هاما لتنمية بلدنا okay ولذا ولذا instead of so so ولذا يجب على الدولة تبني الباحثين المصريين وعليها أيضا إنفاق أموال أكثر على البحث العلمي والتنمية. Okay, more money. إنفاق أموال. Spend more money. إنفاق أموال أكثر. Okay. This way we're going in this part we're going to translate from English to Arabic. Experts. A noun. Warn against the this is the opposite. We start by a noun and then a verb, and uh, uh, we continue. But in the Arabic, in the Arabic, we start by the verb. Okay, experts warn against the excessive use of cell phones, especially by the youth, as it leads to dangerous health, psychological, and social problems. Okay, of course, experts know my khubara, worm, has drawn, or you has the khubara. Okay, excessive, yani, ziyada, but we're going to call it mufrit. You has the khubara, min al istikdam al mufrit, al mufrit lil telephone al mahmul, wa khassatan min jani bil shabab, laan dalik qad yuadi ila mashakil sahiya sahiya hath. Problems, nafsiya, psychological, and social, ictimaiya, khatir. Okay. Some useful vocab. It can be helpful for you. Utilization, which which is استغلال, استغلال. أي بقى موارد استغلال حاجة. وفي كمان exploit. exploit اللي هي استغلال بس دوت بالمعنى ان هو بياخد الحاجة من صاحبها وبيستغلها اوكي such such يعني مثل run the competition معناها ان هو ايه organize بي organize the competition hold the competition اللي هو يقيم الcompetition establish يعني ينشئ found يعني يؤسس regrettable يعني يندم على شيء this is a verb sorry this is an adjective and uh, to describe something لما أقول مثلا الحاجة دي أنا ممكن أندم عليه يبقى 
something that uh, this is a regrettable thing okay unintentionally بدون قصد او بدون نية as long as طالما affairs يعني شؤون والفار يعني رخاء determination العزيمة والإرادة determination هي العزيمة وال هي الإرادة precise يعني دقيق awareness اللي هو الوعي qualifications دي المؤهلات و skills هي المهارات constructive يعني بناء بناء gives you positive energy okay uh, gives you a push uh, deprived from deprived from يعني محروم ودوت adjective وممكن اقول deprived children اللي هم الاطفال المحرومين means دي وسيلة وهي as a singular okay write a paragraph about of about 120 words on the following fatal disease well, most of the time they don't say write a paragraph they say write an essay and the form of essay is uh, so obvious here we have here coronavirus this is the intro and the intro must uh, start by a catching sentence as you can see health is always stated that health sorry health is always stated that health is a crown on the heads of healthy people our health may be affected by many things and one of these is diseases and epidemics okay so this is the introduction generally speaking about health and about disease okay let's go to introduction by another introduction about the coronavirus has become a common ghost not only facing our region the Middle East um, as you can see coronavirus is uh, in between two inverted commas just because this is a name and to highlight it we must put two inverted commas take care of the punctuation please okay also to clarify what's your region we have the word our region we can stop here and put full stop and we can stop here and put comma as it's written but to clarify it we put the clarification between two inverted commas lower what's this region the Middle East but also all the world whether it's developed or developing and we know the difference between developed and the developing um, we have also Coronavirus has become one of the hottest topics of this era and as a result many efforts should be devoted and exerted to curb this pandemic pandemic and uh, This is the first of all and this is an intro concerned as an intro for the coronavirus Then we are going to know the history of it in another paragraph and this is the body let's start the body as you can see we leave a space space before the first word here it was first found in China in, 19, in 2019 in a Chinese city called Wuhan at first Chinese doctors didn't take it seriously and this helped this virus to spread <coughs> this catastrophe made China cost an arm and leg cost an arm and leg this, and this is like idiom to say that it costs a lot many people have been infected in China <coughs> around the clock another idiom or another expression many cases have been reported around the globe including our beloved country Egypt in order to prevent this crisis many countries stopped travelers and migrants crossing their lands many countries started to apply qu uh, quarantine to prevent their peoples from catching this epidemic to sum up this is the conclusion 
we all have to gather together till this woe comes to an end woe means sadness okay thank you for listening and see you later goodbye